Bricks Free Acquired, and tonight I'm going to show you one of my absolute favorite things about cooking. How you can take a core basic recipe, just add a little bit of twist, and make it something totally, well not totally different, but significantly different. Give it a whole different feel and taste and look. What we're going to do is um, a celery soup recipe. Now, I make it all the time when I get a big huge batch of celery for some recipe and I le have a ton left over. I make the soup, uh, add a little bit of cream maybe, very simple, very delicious. Well, tonight's twist on it, I'm actually going to roast off a uh, pasilla pepper, skin it, then blend that pepper in with the rest of the uh, rest of the celery soup, and it's kind of like a spicy, a little bit spicy, a little bit um, Latin kind of twist on the uh, on the traditional version. It's absolutely wonderful, and it's so simple to make. You know, like the, this whole soup you can put together in about 20, 30 minutes. Give it a try. Let me know how you uh, how you like it. Throw a comment on the bottom. Give me a little subscribe. I'm always putting new recipes up every week basically. So let's get to it and let's show you how it's done. Now it's really just the basic celery soup recipe but we're going to roast the pepper, add that to the soup, make it absolutely beautiful. A little bit of spicy, a little bit of uh, that chili flavor. You want to get it blackened all over. Just rotate it every few minutes and um, then we'll come back While and take the skin off. While see a pepper roast over the open flame there, let's go ahead and start our other vegetables. One onion. I've got a full stalk of celery there. You can also use celery root which I like. I've got a chopped up leek, that's what that is, and then somewhere in this big pile of edge are uh, three or four garlic cloves. Use a nice big soup pot, this is going to make a pretty big batch. And um, olive oil in the pan over kind of medium heat. You want to add a couple good pinches of salt. And then just let this go for about 10 or 15 minutes. Medium, medium high heat. You don't have to stir it too aggressively or too often every few minutes. And you're just looking for all those vegetables to get wilted down. By the way, you don't have to take a whole lot of time to cut the vegetables very neatly or very finely because it's all going to get pureed at the end. Once this um, settles down, we'll add our um, roasted and peeled chili pepper, our stock, the soup will all come together. Okay, so once your pepper is blackened all the way around, you can see how dark it is. There's really no green skin left at all. Turn off the heat. Give it, you know, just a beat or two. Make sure there's no um, literally burning parts on it. I got a plastic bag here. If you have a paper bag, it's even better because paper is guaranteed not to melt on you. But these heavy duty plastic bags are just fine. Seal it. Let the pepper steam. You can let it go for you know at least 10 minutes. You want it cool enough to handle. You could let it go an hour. That's fine. And then um, once it's cooled off, that skin, black skin, is going to rub off super easy. So I just pulled our pepper out of the bag. And um, it's not yet super cool, but I'm hungry and I want this soup cooked. And you can see just by rubbing the skin, I can pull all that black charred part out and I'm left with this beautifully sweet tasting slightly spicy uh, pasilla pepper flesh. Once we do that I'm just going to open the pepper up literally like a book and pull out the, um, the seed pod that's in there and then I'm going to take that pepper flesh and toss it right in with our, uh, with our celery. The celery the leek, the onion, all cooked down now. I've just had it about 20 minutes. Mine actually got a little bit brown. That's not what I'm looking for. I like to keep it, um, you know, just sweat it down. No browning, but a little bit of brown never hurt anybody. I've got a little bit of time there. I've just got our pasilla pepper, which we cleaned and de-ribbed. Just go ahead and toss it in there. I didn't put any um, pepper yet in here, so let's add that. And, you know, by the way, I'm adding one pasilla pepper. If you want to add some more, Go ahead, by all means, it just gives it a little bit stronger flavor. And you can also play around with hotter peppers as well to get a little more spice in there. But I like it still kind of maintaining that a little bit of the mildness of traditional celery soup. Then I'm going to cover the whole thing with chicken stock. I like to use low sodium chicken stock and control the salt myself. This is looking um, a, still a little bit, um, uh, not quite enough stock, so I'll probably go open another can, throw that in there. You want it covered by a couple inches. You can always thin it out though with more after we blend it. I'm going to let this go covered for about 15 minutes on a simmer. Then we'll come back and uh, we'll blend it up after with a stick blender. For about 20 minutes or so, all those vegetables, they're going to be nice and soft, easy to blend together. So turn the heat down to essentially nothing. You can even turn it off. 
throw it either use a stick blender like this or use a regular blender if you do be very very careful and you're just gonna go until everything is nicely smooth and pureed down okay so my soup is now nicely pureed now if it foams up on you sometimes my soups do that when I uh, when I blend them like this just scoop that foam right off not a big deal you want to give it a taste for seasoning and this one um, actually could use a touch more salt and pepper and you definitely get that fl celery flavor of course but that um, kind of poblano or pasilla pepper is definitely there as well and then a final optional ingredient if you want to add a little bit of cream I kind of love it because it makes a little bit more body um, in the soup you can leave it out another trick you can also cook a potato in here as well just with all the other vegetables chop it right up and that adds a similar um, similar thickness and richness to the soup without the um, without the calories of cream obviously we're gonna mix this up one more time and then um, we're ready to garnish okay once the soup is all pureed blended and perfect perfectly seasoned go ahead and season or plate it I use a little bit of sour cream do whatever kind of little design you want on it and then maybe a little bit of fresh cilantro as a garnish and you are good to go I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required. Holy cow, you made it to the end of the video. Hope you saw something you liked. Hope you tried this recipe. If so, throw us up in the comments. Let me know how it turned out. And you know what? I put videos up every week, sometimes twice a week. If you want to subscribe, go ahead. Click this little button right here. It should be somewhere around my fingers. And um, you'll get updates when I post new videos. You can comment. You can enjoy. We can all learn to cook better. I'll see you next time.